What's up, everybody? Iron Patriot reporting for duty. That's right, people. We got a crazy video like yesterday, like today. I'm going to share with YouTube, and then I'm going to paste it on to BitChute. So if you're on YouTube right now, uh, watch your videos, and hop on over to BitChute.com and follow me under the Iron Patriot as well. Follow me everywhere. Uh, I show you everything. I show you everything in its nature, the way it's intended. Uh, you want the truth, I'm going to give it to you. Uh, people, we got a crazy Michael Rappaport video for you today. But first, if you haven't, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Michael Rappaport? The guy, the guy, number one guy on this planet who hates Trump worse than cancer. Michael Rappaport. But it seems that Michael Rappaport hates something worse than Donald Trump. Uh, Michael Rappaport is about to share us a message for all you leftards out there for 2024. Y'all lit a fire in his ass uh, with all this pro-Palestinian bullshit. And uh, you might have just red-pilled this guy. I'm not sure. So uh, strap yourselves in, man. Uh, it might be too early to grab a cold one, but grab a cold one anyway. It could be a tea. It could be, you know, whatever. Grab something. Get ready to chug. Because, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, this ain't for the kiddies. So hopefully you send them off to school. Uh, here we go. You know what's going to be, you know what's going to be great? When ain't Donald Trump elected <laughs> and I ain't saying I'm voting for him. But when he does win, and he's going to win, the screaming and yelling that you <laughs> ass, low job, miserable <laughs> on college campuses are doing Woo! now, the screaming that you're doing at Jews about free Palestine, the screaming that you're doing at Zionists is going to be nothing compared to the screaming you're going to be doing come November when <laughs> Donald Trump wins presidency because of you because of you and historically google me you know how i feel about <laughs> donald trump this guy this guy is not bullshit i will give michael rapaport this uh this guy does not hold back he says everything that's on his mind whether if you like it or not uh i've been against this guy for forever but I always kept that he was very he was a funny guy he always had funny roles in movies and it just pleases me to no end that you left hearts pissed this guy off so much with all this uh anti-israel bullshit that this guy especially october 7th you red pill this fucking dude uh that now now he's on board with Donald Trump. And with all this pro-Palestinian bullshit, uh, the, you, you pissed this guy off. This guy's on a fucking mission. And I, I'll tell you what, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You guys got us Michael Rappaport for Christmas? Oh, lefties, we didn't get you nothing. Hey, hang in there, though. We'll make it right. We'll get you some uh, cricket, cricket cookies. <laughs> Whoa! But it'll be worth the screaming, the crying, and the yelling. I can't wait to see those <laughs> protests come November. When <laughs> Donald Trump wins because of you <laughs> little blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, me neither, Michael Rappaport. I'll tell you how fucked up this situation is here in this country. With Joe Biden destroying our country. With all these stupid protests. I'll tell, I'll tell you how bad it is. I'll tell you just how bad it is. You want to know how bad it is? That even the fucking Amish are pro-Trumpers. The Amish don't ever take part in civilization. 
They don't take part in mod in the modern civilized world. They don't take part. They stick to their own ways. But you have threatened their ways so bad, lefties. Joe Biden has threatened this country so bad and put us on so much of the brink that Amish people are praising Trump and waving that American flag. This is beautiful. I mean, it's kind of sad, but this is what it's come down to. Even the Amish, that lets you know something because these are God-bearing people. They always have been. They always will be. So really, to just simply call uh, Donald Trump a uh, a racist, it, it, it don't even make sense. Because who else ever had the support of the Amish people other than other Amish people? Uh, nobody. A God has their support. And Donald Trump has their support now, too. That's how you know. That's how, that's how you know how important 2024 November is. That even Michael Rappaport is, is pushing for Trump in 2024. You lefties don't have shit on your side. Except for an 81-year-old dementia-riddled, poops his pants, can't make it up the stairs, can't remember what he is, talks about his uncles and grandfathers getting eaten by fucking cannibals. And, 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 let's, and let's be real here, his, what, Uncle Bozy or whatever, uh, didn't get shot down. There's no records of his plane ever getting shot down. It ran out of fuel. This guy wasn't a war hero. He was a courier. When you wanted your fucking mail, when you had cookies that grandmammy sent you at war, then uh, that he was the guy who delivered them. I ain't saying that role wasn't important. I'm just saying that he isn't this fucking John Wayne all-American pro-hero. Because this country wouldn't be in the shape it's in if that was even the case. The get eaten by cannibals, huh? I mean, really, how bad of a person could Donald Trump be if even the Amish... They, you never, I've never seen them do this shit for Kennedy or Reagan. They've never done this shit, but they're doing it now. And they're doing it for the first time in history... Of this country for Donald Trump. That's a sign from fucking God right there. Donald Trump not only has the backing of the Amish, but because of having the backing of the Amish, he has the backing of God as well. And Michael Rappaport. <laughs> Woo! What do you got, lefties? I'll tell you what you got. You got nothing. You got Ukraine. And it's the American people getting fucked out of their tax money. And it's getting sent to Ukraine. The government robbing us of our fucking hardworking money. And just, just giving it, just giving it to a foreign power. It's so bad. Destroying our infrastructure, crashing barges into bridges and collapsing our main shipping lanes. Now, now the Amish are on our side. I, I, I've never been so fucking positive as I am now. I, I can't, I, I still can't believe what my eyes are showing me here. The Amish? Holy shit. The Amish? Hey man, you want the best fucking farmers? Because farmers equal food and food equals survival. They make the best fucking food. I fucking love Amish restaurants. I don't care if all the fast food restaurants dissipate. But we, we got our fucking farmers right here. And they all they all some base savages, man. Y'all y'all fuck you fucked everything up. You fucked it up for everybody. That includes even the Amish. Amish live with us too. Y'all don't care about that. 
Well, you will, because now they have taken a stance. And, oh, my God, even the Amish are for Donald Trump. I hope Donald Trump sees this, man, because, holy shit, times are getting crazy. Me, I, I'm fine. I'm even better now knowing I can sleep even better on top of I've been sleeping pretty good, too. But I sleep even better knowing this, man. We got the fucking Amish on our side, man. That makes my fucking day. Holy shit. Woo. Anyway, people. <laughs> that's the video if you like these videos make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow me again over on BitChute you'll be able to see these videos too and uh, and more but uh, I will catch you on the next one God bless all of you out there we got harsh times coming ahead of us but uh, we got God on our side we got God on our backs uh, good will always triumph over evil. And we're going to prove that. We're going to prove that. We are built to last. The left isn't. The left is turning on themselves. They're setting themselves on fire. And uh, we're just going to stay the hell out of their way. Let them consume themselves. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. That, that's not a gang sign. I promise. It's not a gang sign. I ain't no gang member.